Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today um, I will be making a separate dessert called Samsa. Uh, first of all, it's going to go ahead and put two cups of sugar and add in two cups of water. Normally when I do make a, a like a syrup um, sherbet, I tend to put more water, but this particular dessert, you want it nice and thick. And then into that, I'm just gonna add a drop of uh, lemon juice. And also to give it a nice fragrant, I've got um, rose water. When you do buy rose water, make sure it is rose fragrance water that you can use in food and not the alcohol-based um, mixture. I'm also going to just add a slice of lemon into it as well. I do like the fragrance it brings out. And just um, give it a mix. And then once it starts to come to a boil, just turn it down and simmer for five minutes. Ready? So next we get our pastry ready. The, these are little, little um, pastry filled with um, nuts and you fry it and then put it into, um, into cold sherbet, syrup, shall I say. We need three cups of flour all-purpose flour so I've got three cups of flour into a bowl here so just separate your egg and place the egg your straight into the flour and then add in about half a teaspoon of salt you want to put in a drop of lemon juice about a tablespoon you also want to put half a cup of water and about say about three tablespoons of cooking oil to say about three. Leave the your egg white to be used later. And now all you want to do is go ahead and give this mixture a good mix. So mix it in well. Just keep on mixing it. It will come together. If it doesn't, just add a drop of water or a drop of oil into it. We keep mixing up and it will come together. As you can see, it's starting to pick up now. But what I'm going to do, I'm just going to um, add a little bit of oil onto my hand and just give it that final mix to come together. As you can see, it's all coming together and it's picking up nicely. At this stage now, you just want to work on this dough for about five minutes to get it nice, lit and smooth. So just work on it five minutes. Once you have been working on your dough and you've got it like this, what you want to do next is just cover it up and leave it to rest for half an hour. I've just turned off my syrup as well, so we'll leave that to um, rest. So we'll put that aside and leave that to rest. In the meanwhile, uh, we're going to go ahead and chop up some nuts. Now I've got some almonds here, or you can use walnuts. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and just chop up some almonds. Oops. Just finely chop your nuts. Put two tablespoons of sugar as well. 
generous amount of um, cinnamon. And just give it all a good mix. Then I'm going to add in um, the egg whites. And then we're going to add in some rose water until it all comes together. tables, four or five tablespoons of um, rose water. That's good enough to me. So that's our almond mixture. You want to always like to do is uh, work on a little bit at a time so I'm just going to cut a piece off and then I shall cover the rest up and leave it so it doesn't dry up and just take this really is a nice smooth dough what you want to do is just get a little bit of oil, cover it and oil the surface really. And then what you want to do is you want to get a rolling pin and just roll out your If it is getting sticky onto your work surface, just wipe it down with a little bit of oil. So keep doing this until it's opened up nicely. Pastry into squares. Don't worry about the end bits, you can always um, reuse them again, just uh, re roll them out again afterwards. So we just go ahead and just cut our squares. Then what you would do, as I said, the end bits, you will just roll them up on the end and reuse them up again. With your squares, you just want to get your mixture. Just a little bit of um, mixture in the middle. Then dip your finger in a water, just seal the edges with water and then lift. Ends up, roll it across, and then with a fork, you would just press the ends like so. That's all there is to it. So, one more, just get a little bit of um, the filling, place it in the middle of your pastry pastry squares, dip your finger into water, just seal the edges, lift and roll over, then with a fork just press like so and then place it into a tray um, 
cover up with um, clean towel so they don't um, dry up. Dip your finger into Get a fork, just press the edges to be sealed, like so. As you make it and place them in, in a tray and make sure you cover them up with um, a clean towel so that they don't dry up. So prepare your um, little desserts this way. Okay, seal the edges with by dipping your finger in water and then just rolling it over. Then what you would do is just seal the ends with a fork. Place it in the tray, cover up and continue making them. I'll reuse them again so just keep it in there, cover it up with your cling film continue making them. Once you've used up all your um, dough up, then you've got all your end bits. You're able to just roll them all together and reuse them up again. So just roll it all up and then you will be able to use this um, to do the last few more out of it. So just roll them out and redo it. I've got a little bit of uh, the almond mixture left over which I think that will be plenty um, and the ones that I have been making I've got two layers I've just um, been putting them in a tray covering up with tea towel and then once I finish off this then we'll be ready to go ahead and fry them. Our oil in the other pot we've got our syrup that we made I'm just going to drop a uh, pastry piece to see if it's um, hot enough. You need the oil to be really hot. So we'll wait till that rises up and then we can start frying them. Okay, um, our oil is hot enough so we can now place them in to fry. You just want to get them browned off on both sides. So we want to brown them off on both sides and golden on both sides. You want to take them out and put them straight into our cold syrup. So they go straight into syrup. Just want to soak them up in there for a couple of minutes and then take them out onto a plate. So once they're um, straight onto a plate. And we will continue frying and placing them into our syrup. you fry them in one pan and then as soon as you take them out you put them into the dip syrup and then from there you're taking them out onto a plate and you get quite a bit out of it so I've got my last lot in there frying just need to take these out now
are cooked with uh, fry them, deep fry them and into cold syrup. They are absolutely delicious. Um, and then you would just serve them on a plate and eat them with your hands. They are absolutely delicious. One of my favourites. They're called Samsa Tatlasa. Samsa. They're separate um, desserts. Kids absolutely love them. And they're quite Moorish. So as you can see, you get quite a few out of it. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you'll give it a go and let me know how you get on. Take care now.